Okay, question 10. f of x equals x squared plus 4kx plus 3 plus 11k, where k is a constant. Express f of x in the form x plus p all squared plus q, where p and q are constants to be found in terms of k. Okay, now, let's just draw your attention immediately to this. This is the key thing. It's telling us what we got to do. We're going to have to write it in this form. If we want to write it in this form, we're going to have to complete the square. So part A... Part A is to complete the square. Now, before I write, uh, before I try and complete the square, I'm just going to write f of x down here, just so it's a little bit easier to work with. x squared plus 4kx plus 3. Ta oh, careful now. I'll sort it out in a second. 3 plus 11k. And I'll fix that bracket. Okay, okay. Lovely. Now, when we complete the square, coefficient of x squared is 1 already, so that's that's great. I'm just going to worry about this part I've underlined in green. That's all I'm really concerned with to start with. And I'm going to write x plus, and normally what we do is we half the coefficient of x here. For half of 4k is 2k. That's got to be squared, and we need to subtract. We want to subtract um, what we've created. When I expand this out, I'm going to get an x squared. I'm going to get a 4kx, but I'm also going to get a 4k squared that I don't want. So I'm going to take away 4k squared. And let's not forget, we still had the 3 plus 11k and hence we've completed the square and uh, the next part says given that the equation f of x equal to 0 has no real roots that's the important part here we're asked to find the possible values of k if it's no real roots so in part b no real roots implies b squared minus 4 AC must be less than zero. So the discriminant of the function has got to be less than zero. So let's see what that works out to be. So in terms of K, um, let's see, B is going to be 4K. So we get 4K to be squared minus 4 times A, which is 1 times c, which is all of this here, 3 plus 11k, 3 plus 11k is going to be less than 0. Let me just fix that k, so it looks a wee bit neater. 11k must be less than 0. Okay, let's just tidy up a little bit. 4k to be squared is going to give us 16k squared and then when we expand this out we're going to get negative 12 subtract 44k and that's going to be less than zero and now if this is less than zero everything is divisible by four so what i'm going to do is divide everything by four and also i'm going to rearrange it because i can see that it's a quadratic i've got k squared i've got k i've got this constant so divide everything by four and rearrange it so it looks more familiar to to us. 11k minus 3 must be less than 0. Now, what we want to do is find the critical values. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve 4k squared minus 11k minus 3. We're going to solve it equal to 0 first. To work out what the potential values of k are. So that means we're going to have to um, basically solve this quadratic. So I'm going to factorize it first. Um, let's see. I think we can factorize this without having to use any completing the square or anything like that. So 4k squared, going to write there. Uh, minus 3 there is going to equal 0. And I'm going to write this negative 11k in a slightly different way. So I need the two numbers have to multiply to 
4 times negative 3, they're going to have to multiply to negative 12, but they're going to have to add to negative 11. So numbers that multiply to negative 12, but add to negative 11, got to be negative 12 and plus 1. Negative 12, positive 1. So it's got to be minus 12k plus 1k. And you can see this expression here is actually the same as this if I was to tidy it up. Now we're going to factorise by grouping. So what can I factor out of this part I've underlined in green? We can take out 4k. And that's going to leave us with k minus 3. And what could I factor out of this expression so I get k minus 3? Well, if I factor out a 1, we're going to get k minus 3. Okay, and I can factor out k minus 3 now from the whole thing. Factor out k minus 3. And that's going to leave us with 4k plus 1 got to be equal to zero so potential values of k or the critical values k could be equal to three or k could be equal to minus one over four but that's not the pot potential solutions they are just the critical values this is so important now we've got to sketch the curve what would the curve look like okay so we had a quadratic uh, here so let's just highlight that quadratic. This was the function that we had. Okay. And when we solved it, we found that the critical values were uh, the 3 and the negative 1 quarter. So if I was to sketch it, it's a quadratic. Positive quadratic, it's going to be a U shape and it's going to cut the axis at a 3. And negative 1 over 4. Okay, and it's going to come down like this. Um, go through that 3. So something like that. Now, the important thing is, that's what the, the graph would look like. That's where it would pass through the axis. So, But what, what do I want to know? Where is this function? Where is the function less than 0? Where is that function less than 0? So... Just do a slight change of colour here. Where is it less than zero? It's less than zero here. It's less than zero here. That's the region where it's less than zero. Which means that k must be less than three. When k is less than three, we get a value less than zero. And k must be bigger than negative one quarter. So in other words, k must be between three and negative one quarter. So there's the possible values of k. Now the next part says, given that k is equal to one, so we go through all that trouble to work out possible values of k, and then it tells us that it's actually equal to one. Sketch the graph of the function showing the coordinates of the graph where it crosses the axis. So k equals one. Um, k equals one, which means if we go to uh, back to this one up here, k equals 1. The function now becomes... Oh, careful. I need to be very careful. I'm using the wrong thing. k equals 1. Let's go back up to this f of x. I'm going to save myself the hassle of having to write it all out again. Oh, I thought that would work. It usually does. Never short of a few technical difficulties. All right, let's try that again. So k is going to be equal to 1. So we're going to get x squared plus 4x. And if k is 1, that's going to be 11. 11 plus 3 is 14 x squared plus 4x plus 14. Okay. Now we're going to have to use a few pieces of information here to help us sketch this. Okay. Now we know that um, 
it's going to be a u-shaped graph it's got to go f uh, like this and that's because it's a positive x squared i also know it's going to cut the y-axis it's going to cut the y-axis when it's 14 yeah the y-axis at 14 so it's either going to pass through there like so or it's going to pass up there like so um, another piece of information that we know is that um, it said b squared minus 4ac is less than zero it told us earlier on that it's got no real roots now if it's got no real roots that means it doesn't cut the x-axis if it's got no roots it won't cut that x-axis that's important and the other piece of information i'd like to know does it say that it asks us for any point at which it cuts the x-axis no but i would like to know what the um i'd like to know what the minimum value is and i'm going to use the fact that we completed the square because that's one of the really useful reasons for completing the square it tells us the maximum or the minimum so this was a completed the square um version from earlier on and remember x was equal to our k was equal to one so I'll just move this over here that doesn't really fit we'll have to move things down not to worry and um, k was equal to one so uh, just this expression here now is actually going to be x plus two to be squared and then when we tidy this up when k is one we get uh, that's going to be negative four and uh, we get 14 here so plus 10 so that means that the uh, the values must be when x is negative 2 uh, y will be 10 so when x is negative 2 so somewhere over here y will be 10 which is round about here so the minimum value is there, round about there in fact I'll move it down a little bit scale is not too important here but we know the shape we know the minimum value we know where it cuts the y-axis so it's going to go something like that and that is a sketch of the curve All right let's see what the examiner said um so this is what we were looking for we had that earlier on that was the uh, completing the square part um we had our critical values at negative one quarter and three and our sketch is there and you can see that we've got the correct value uh, 0 14 or 14 on the y-axis now it says here the minimum is at negative 2 10 which we worked out but there's no mark for that but it is worth knowing okay and um, question 10 a very demanding question very few people got full marks uh, the algebra was challenging to begin with and often completing the square led to mistakes um, this is something that students continue to get wrong it's worth practicing completing the square is a really useful technique and you're going to need it in core two as well um i'm going to leave it at that you can have a read of this um yourself if you wish um, and that is the end of the exam paper